Hi students, I'm Abhishek from Vidyaru and in today's session I'm going to discuss number system. I'm going to discuss some really interesting problems and believe me these problems are going to be really really helpful. So if you like the video please press the like button for sure, share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and while subscribing make sure you press the bell icon also. As you can see it's a complete English medium video especially made for our students from South India, students from Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh and our dear students from Northeast India because our students from this part are well versed in English language. So if you want to watch the bilingual video, the Hindi medium video that is also there in the playlist, do look for that. You have to be there till the end, stay put because with each passing question the difficulty level is going to increase. Let's solve the question given on your screen. 2 raised to power, 2 raised to power 4 times 6 plus 5 raised to power, 5 raised to power 4 times 3 is exactly divisible by which of the following that is what you have to find out. So interesting concept will be learned today students it seems to be a difficult question I'm going to make it simple I'm going to teach you a very interesting concept let's first of all look at these numbers 2 raised to power 4 times 6 plus 5 raised to power 4 times 3. Now the interesting thing is that students a raised to power m plus b raised to power m if you have an expression of this form, of this particular type, then such an expression is completely divisible by a plus b. It is completely divisible by a plus b if this power m, students, if this power m is odd, if this power m is odd. Sure? So, revise with me, a raised to power m plus b raised to power m will be completely divisible by the sum of a and b if the power m is odd. Of course, the power has to be the same. Is the power same in uh, these cases? No, the power is not the same in these cases. So what I have to do is make the powers same. So I'll write 4 times 6 as something like this. 2 raised to power 6 within the bracket inside the power will become 6 so outside the power will become 4 times 1 yes or no very simple students 4 times 6 has been written as 6 into 4 times 1 very easy similarly this 4 times 3 will be written like this 5 cube will be the expression inside and outside it will be 4 times 1 yes or no so students 4 times 3 has been written as 3 into 3 into 4 times 1. Now you can see that the power is the same. The power is the same and this power 4 times 1 is an odd power. So what is this number inside? Students look at the numbers inside. 2 raised to power 6. 2 raised to power 6 is 64. 2 raised to power 6 is 64. And the power is 4 times 1. 5 cube is what? 5 cube is 125. So 125 raised to power 4 times 1. So now you have this expression which I was talking about. This particular form which I was talking about. So this particular number, this particular number will be divisible by A plus B. What is A out here? Students A out here is 64. What is B out here? B out here is 125. So it will be divisible by A plus B. So A plus B is 125 plus 64. 125 plus 64, 5 and 4, 9, 2 and 6, 8. So 189. This expression is going to be completely divisible by 189. So option B is the answer. Option B is the answer so if you're liking this particular style of smart teaching then you have to call upon the numbers which are given on your screen so that you can connect with our representatives right away believe me when you connect with our representatives for live online classes our video lectures you get completely prepared for banking SSE and competitive exams we provide study material along with our courses even test series is provided so practically everything that a student requires, that you require to crack these competitive exams that is provided by us, doubt clearing, everything is included. So don't miss out, call upon the numbers right away and let's look at the next question now. Now let's 
read the question given on your screen 64 raised to power 25 minus 1 is exactly divisible by which of the following students now look at it 64 64 can I write 64 as 8 square of course 8 square raised to power 25 minus 1 that's how I have written this expression now students if I multiply if I multiply these powers what will happen 25 into 2 the power will become 50 so 8 raised to power 50 minus 1 students 1 1 the power of 1 could be anything the power of 1 could be anything I can write 1 as 1 raised to power 50 it won't make a difference 1 raised to power 2 is also 1 1 raised to power 3 is also 1 1 raised to power any positive number 1 raised to power any positive number will always give you 1 sure now look at it look at this particular form why have I reduced 64 raised to power 25 minus 1 into this form because a raised to power m minus b raised to power m now comes our smart method a raised to power m minus b raised to power m students such an expression is completely divisible by a plus b do not forget such an expression is completely divisible totally divisible by a plus b if if m this power if m this power is what it is even if the power is even if this power is even then it will be completely divisible by a plus b and out here the power is even that is why that is why i wrote 1 as 1 raised to power 50 i wanted an even power that is why i have reduced 64 raised to power 25 into this form 8 raised to power 50 so that i get an even power 50 so now you can clearly see this particular expression will be divisible by a plus b a plus b that means a is what students a is 8 b is what b is 1 so 8 plus 1 8 plus 1 this expression will be divisible by 9 because the power is 50 the power is even so option a is the answer option a is the answer it is completely divisible by 9 and now let's raise the difficulty level let's look at the last question for today and read what is given on your screen 7 raised to power 24 minus 4 raised to power 24 is exactly divisible by which of the following now let's see students can I write 7 raised to power 24 in this form 7 raised to power 2 raised to power 12 can I not write it of course I can 12 to the 24 so inside I have inside I have 7 square and the power outside is 12 similarly for the next number for the next number I will reduce this 24 in this form 4 square raised to power 12 4 square raised to power 12 now what is 7 square students 7 square is 49 7 square is 49 so I can write it as 49 raised to power 12 minus 4 square is what students 4 square is 16 minus 16 raised to power 12 now look at this expression look at this particular form what form is it it is a raised to power m minus b raised to power m that is the form sure now listen to me very carefully i'm going to tell you something really interesting a raised to power m minus b raised to power m such an expression such an expression is completely divisible by a minus b such an expression is completely divisible by a minus b it does not matter matter whether m is even or m is odd whether m is even or m is odd it does not matter a raised to power m minus b raised to power m will always be divisible by a minus b whether the power m is even or odd it does not make a difference so out here is what students out here is 49 out here b is what b is 16 so it will be divisible it will be divisible by a minus b a minus b becomes what 49 minus 16 that means it becomes 33 so yes 
this particular expression is divisible by 33. Do we have 33 out here? Yes, we have 33 out here. One more thing, students. A raised to power m minus b raised to power n. Just now we learned, just now we learned that this particular expression is also divisible by a plus b. It is also divisible by a plus b when when the power m is even. When the power m is even. Is the power m out here even? Yes, the power is 12. Look at it students. The power out here is 12 and 12 is an even power. So in such a scenario, in such a scenario, 49 raised to power 12 minus 16 raised to power 12 will also be divisible by a plus b will also be divisible by a plus b a plus b that means 49 plus 16 a plus b that means 65 so this particular expression will be divisible by both 33 and 65 33 and 65 so the answer turns out to be both b and c divisible by both 33 and 65 so students, if you have liked this particular style of teaching, then you can call upon the numbers given on your screen and you can join our live courses, our uh, video program as well. And if you've liked the video, please press the like button for sure. Share the video with your friends. God bless you all. Thank you so much.